Now our Reese Cole joins us with a look at our forecast. Reese, it rained a lot this weekend. We're kind of in the clear, maybe warming a little bit back up. Yep, we're on the rebound of temperatures and we're on the rebounding conditions too. We had a lot of rain and a lot of cloud cover here the last 48 hours, but things are starting to turn around really here this evening, last couple of hours, especially areas north of Grand Rapids already starting to see clearer skies. Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo starting to see the broken clouds, and that helped keep temperatures a lot warmer this afternoon compared to yesterday. Again, most of us broke record cold high temperatures in Muskegon, Grand Rapids, and Battle Creek. Now about 10 to 12 degrees warmer in most areas than we were this time 24 hours ago. Tomorrow's going to be an even warmer day as well. We're still sitting in the 60s for most, 67 at the Grand Rapids Airport, 71 one is still in Muskegon, 64 in White Cloud, 65 over in Montcalm County as well. South of I-96, temperatures in the mid-60s for most of us, upper 60s at Kalamazoo and Battle Creek Airport, 64 in South Haven and 67 in Grand Junction. As for the next couple of days, it could be a nice stretch of weather. We're looking at the rain slowly winding down the rest of the day. Those clouds are going to continue to break up as well. We're looking at a very pleasant stretch of weather setting up all week long. Our temperatures are going to be in the upper 70s and then push into the lower 80s through the middle of this work week. High pressure system starting to take hold over in Wisconsin and Minnesota. That'll stream into our region here, slowly moving through the next several days. That'll help break up the clouds overnight tonight. We could be waking up to a few areas of patchy fog. So here's a look at future track. Again, the clouds continuing to break up, especially north of Grand Rapids first. Then it'll gradually taper off to the south and southeast. By the time we wake up tomorrow morning, partly cloudy skies for most of us. That'll again contribute to the areas of patchy fog, maybe reduce visibility for a couple of hours. But we're going to warm up nicely in the afternoon, again nearing that 80 degree mark. And then those clouds continuing to filter out mostly sunny skies by the time we get to Monday evening. That'll be the case on Tuesday as well. We're looking at a really, really nice work week, not expecting a ton of rain chances, not expecting anything humid either. It's going to be a really, really pleasant stretch. Very comfortable here for the middle of August. Overnight lows tonight, upper 50s for most, so a little bit cooler off to the north where those clouds are already starting to break up. That's where the best chance for some patchy fog will be here tomorrow morning. And highs tomorrow, upper 70s for most, a little couple of 80s will be possible, especially down near I-94 and along the lakeshore due to a northeasterly wind. And as for lakeshore, water temperatures dropped significantly this weekend. We had a very unfavorable wind for Lake Michigan shorelines. Water temperatures dropped about 30 degrees from where they were at three days ago. Holland this morning read 46 degrees. Saugatuck only at 50. Hopefully the wind will finally shift about Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll get a little bit warmer waters flowing back into West Michigan. Wave heights tomorrow going to be safe to swim, although you might need a wetsuit because those temperatures are quite chilly out there. And we'll see the gradual clearing throughout the day as well. It's going to be a nice day here in West Michigan. Again, 79 degrees. Then we're in the 80s as we go throughout the middle of the work week. Overnight lows stay pleasant as well. Upper 50s and then we'll get into the lower 60s by the time we get to next weekend. That's when temperatures will start to get back into the mid 80s above average. Next rain system starts to move in next weekend, so we're looking at a really, really dry and sunny week, but that next system again will bring us scattered showers and storms. Here's a first, first look at it, obviously subject to change as it is several days out, but again, fairly quiet week here. That rain starts to move in Saturday night, looks to last more so on the day on Sunday, and it looks